Hey there to my 49 subscribers, my future subscribers, and all the people that secretly watch me without subscribing. I'm here with my mom today, and uh, I thought I'd let her give a little story time about how she met my dad and the beginning of their relationship. So, how'd you meet? Yeah, how'd you meet? <laughs> I, it started off on, on, whenever I was riding the school bus. No one, not even my four brothers, would let me sit with them on the seat. And so, bus driver put me right behind him with this huge speaker. That, and it's loud enough for clear to the back of this long bus. Well, this other person that I never knew got on the bus and after school, they turned around and saved a place for me on the seat to sit with them. And I found out their name was Jerry Hoover. And he, next day he came with this little crummy, it's a small bus. And after that, he kept doing that, picking me up, and taking me to the school bus before any other kids could get on it. And, you know, then as time went on, he asked me to uh, make copies of these poems he wrote. And so I said, well, how many do you want? He wanted like 500, I think he said. 500? Yeah. 500 copies of a poem? Oh, he had a, bit, a full sheet of, of stuff on them. What was he doing with 500 copies? <sighs> he just said he had that many. Oh. Anyway. So I'm typing these up and then he tells me, you know, as time goes on, well, we were dating and we fell in love, got married, and after we're married, he says, I, I, he had 500 sh uh, sheets with those poems on them, but he had me typing up. Okay, so a, a question is, um, so your brother and him were friends. Donnie. And you and him were dating. Mm hmm But you didn't know that they were friends, no. and neither of them, or he didn't know that you were siblings. No. And your brother didn't know you were dating. No. So, so how did that all come about? <laughs> the dating? How did everybody find out oh. about each other? Well... Uh, one day, I heard somebody knocking on our front door, and I went and answered it. It was Jerry, and he says, well, why are you here? And I just told him, I said, well, stupid, I live here. Donnie's my brother, and that's how he found out we was related, is because but you didn't know they were friends either, did you? No. So that's how you found out they were friends? Yeah, that's how I found out. So then how did their friendship get affected by you guys dating? Did it get affected at all? No. They like to go out to a place called Bandon, Oregon, go, going in the woods, looking for... Uh, Get murder wood. I don't, they call them seeds, but they grew on the tree and only they were round. Like pods or something? You make necklaces with them. Oh. And so they continued to stay friends? They were friends. Cut up after we were married. He ended up marrying. Your aunt, too. Were you friends before they got married with her? Yeah. 
How long were you friends with her before they got married? Well, not with her. No, I did. So you met well, her? Well, yeah, I was a friend with her right when I met her. Okay, so he introduced you, and then you guys became friends. Right. And so then the four of you just run amok and did all kinds of things. That's what we did. We were Got all yourselves kids. in all kinds of trouble. Oh, we, we used to go out to the beach. There was three of them. There was um, oh, man. Sunset Beach. And I can't remember the names of the other two right now. And we'd go down there. While the tide was out, we'd go get in the caves. And I can't swim. And this one time... The tide came in before we got out of the cave. So somebody had to help me get back to the shore. So you got trapped, huh? Yeah, I got trapped in that cave. And I'm like, I can't swim. <laughs> so I don't even remember which one it was. They came and grabbed the, me and got me back to shore. So is that all you want to say about how you guys met and and what the dynamic was of the relationship oh. with your family and that and him and well i met their family when uh his older sister she had uh, one girl that was five named tammy but then when i met him she also had a little girl that was two days old and they let me hold her and her name was Carrie Down. So you so. met the family when Carrie was just a newborn? Yeah, two days. And then I was always going over there to visit. With my, she was at that time, but she became my mother-in-law. And her birthday was April 1st. Yeah, she was an April Fool. <laughs> I should say April Fool's baby because that wasn't nice. <laughs> yeah. So is that all you want to say about all of it? Or you got anything else you want to say? Um, after we got married, we used to have you know, a lot of dinners. Whatever. Well, Phyllis and his older and sister, Mom. The people Hoover. watching don't know who people are by name. Rosa Hoover. <laughs> no, what I mean is when you say Phyllis, they don't know that's his sister. It was my mother-in-law, and then Phyllis was my older sister-in-law, and and the two of them and myself and the younger sister Anita would help them. We all made pies for every time we had a special dinner, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, any time like that. There were some pretty big dinners. Yeah, sometimes there was like at least seven pies or more. Especially there, since there were so many girls in the family. <laughs> yeah, there because were his a older, lot. his older sister had four, his younger sister had two, and then there was me. Yeah. And, uh, once we got old enough to make food, we were making food, so there was a lot of people cooking for the dinner. That's true. Now I cook everything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I miss the days where everybody cooked and then brought the food all to one place. Yeah. But, uh... My mother-in-law would cook at least seven pies. Yeah. All different. It's a bad habit that rubbed off on me. <laughs> yeah. I don't usually cook that many, but I used to. Back when I was cooking for a lot of people, but now it's just us, so. And Kendra. Yeah. Everybody else has gone away. Yeah. Anything Those were, else you those were good dinners. Yeah. I remember Dad's sisters were, would both fight over who made the best rice pudding. <laughs> it was a yeah. competition they had to fight over. Yeah, man, he started making chow mein for meals, you know, dinners. Yeah. 
That was good. First time I tried to learn how to make a meringue, I tried to do it by hand and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Yeah, that won't work. I was in the kitchen forever, but I was just a kid. So. Bet you learn. I've still never made it, because I've never tried again after that. Oh. But maybe someday. It's not my thing. Yeah. So is that it? Well. Is that all you want to talk about tonight? I don't know what else to talk about. Okay. Well, that's it for now. And I'll be back in two days with some sort of exploring related video, hopefully. I don't know exactly what yet. Um, I've been doing some research on something going on in Texas, so... Um, it's kind of consumed my time and I've lost track of the things I'm supposed to be doing. So I guess I'll be making a video on that eventually. But uh, I'll be back in two days with something. And also on the 12th is a new book video. And we're going to be reading the first story in my children's book. So stay tuned for that. I, uh, and I'll add something. Okay, I hired somebody to write a song. Well, I wrote the song. I hired somebody to sing it for me. Um, so, they'll get to hear that as well. And what else did you want to say? Well, on the 31st of March this year, was, or it would have been her dad's and my 50th wedding anniversary, but I just celebrated it here by myself. Last week. Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. But he's up above in heaven. All right. Is that all? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. All right. Please <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, share, and um, give us your thoughts. Say hi to my mom. And um, Oh, yes. And I got two more granddaughters. Just the other night. We, we inherit family. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.